What ah, the? Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Why am I naked? <laughs> what happened to the dark spawn? You were injured, and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Wait, what happened to the army? To the king? The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. You saved us. The first battle and the Darkspawn already won. Oh no. What happened to the Grey Wardens? And the king? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. It's not even just that the Darkspawn won. It's that there are some machinations going on that we're not understanding fully right now. Whether it be Arl Howe or Terran Loghain. We should all really be in a time like this. We should all be uniting against the Blight. But it's not the case. It's not. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. What about Alistair? Is he alright? He is, as you are. I suppose it would be unkind to say he is being childish. You don't seem surprised at all. I suppose it has to do with your mother sort of predicting this already. It would be unkind. Those were his friends. And you think they would encourage his blubbering? If so, they are not the sort of Grey Wardens the legends note. I have some question. Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Thank you for saving me anyway. I'm guessing you were the one who brought us back here. We're in the wilds, in their home. I have some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? Okay, if we lost the battle, that means the Darkspawn have continued going up north. This was the border. We were supposed to stop them here. If we didn't stop them, I'm pretty sure multiple people said this multiple times, but it would mean that they would just go into Ferelden. We are safe for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. The area we're in right now is okay, because they've advanced onward already. Are there any survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why? What's happening? Are you sure you want me to describe it? Yes, please. I had a good view of the battlefield. Tis a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere and darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. To turn them into more darkspawn? Oh, the eating thing really did happen. So those survivors could be rescued? If you are willing to run into the midst of the Horde, perhaps. It's still happening. Why did your mother save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. But in the grand scheme of things, not very helpful. What's going on politically in Ferelden now? Is Terran Logan going to be the new king? Or, well, the queen is still here, right? The Terran's daughter. I happen to be... <laughs> let's, let's joke around a little bit, okay? We don't have to be all serious all the time. I happen to be nobility, you know? I stand corrected. <laughs> How did your mother manage to rescue us exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, what? one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. I didn't get to ask about why the Terran betrayed the king, but I don't think they would know. I think I've asked enough. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, 
Then be on your way. Oh, magically clothed again. <laughs> that was very misleading when it showed her and then like I was naked on the bed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I'm already full. I'm already full. No, I don't have any space on me. I need Alistair at the minimum. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, maybe that's a good thing. Hey, this one, it doesn't say insufficient level it or whatever. Begun. It just says we can, we need a key, so maybe we can find a key. You must speak to Mother, then be gone. You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and it would be best to get an early start. Can I ask again? I do not mind. Take your time. I think if we can activate the right one, then we can get the, the Terran Low Game one again. Stragglers that are yeah. long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. Why did Terran Logan abandon the king? I do not know who this Logan even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. Okay, that's actually important because it shows that the people in the wilds are very disconnected from the politics in Ferelden. They live in the wilds, they don't care about you. Thank you. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. <sighs> Alistair. She, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry Try. too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. It's just you and me now, buddy. I'm not, thanks to Morrigan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? Uh, you've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Davath was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? She's famous. I think it's a good sign that initially Alistair was very, very antagonistic to Morrigan and her mother as well. But now after she saved us, he's coming around. He's not still stuck in that whole mindset of, oh, the witches are evil. Even if they saved us, it's for some ulterior reason. So that's good. That's good. So why did you save us? Well. We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? It sounds like you're trying to follow a prophecy of some sort. The land is hardly united, thanks to Loghain. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Okay, we know that demons can possess people. But when a demon possesses a person, is it possible for them to still present as being a normal person? I'm just wondering. All these people that we've been seeing do bad things are how Terran Logan, is it possible that they've been possessed by like some archdemon already and we just don't realize? What is this archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Immortal. Will you help us fight this blight, Flemeth? 
me. I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. Well, it's clearly a lie. Whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the darkspawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If our Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Arl Eamon? The Arl of Redcliffe? I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Hmm. What about those treaties Flemeth gave us? See? There is a smart lass. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Alistair, I have a feeling the treaties... People have an obligation to help the Grey Wardens. Not during the Blight, but against the Blight. Small distinction, but very important because... Yeah, okay, let's say people will help us against Darkspawn. What about Terran Loghain? What about the traitors from within the kingdom? They might not be able to help us with that. <sighs> I doubt it'll be as easy as that. <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. I don't suppose you could offer any more help? Now that you mention it, I do have one more thing to offer. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Oh! Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I'm like... I'm internally screaming right now, but thank you. But if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Repayment? Shouldn't we be repaying you? But you giving your daughter to us seems like you're repaying us. Very well, we'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens, do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Unexpectedly, Morgan is a bit of a mama's girl. <laughs> she doesn't really go against her. She won't come to harm with us. I, I, I can't guarantee that, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Mm. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. <laughs> Ask. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? 
No, no, you know what? Let's let's start with the 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 job description. What skills do you have exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook. Yes. Great. Okay, we can eat now. <laughs> then you can substitute for Alistair. Right. My cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest tis at all related to cooking. Okay. <clears throat> have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. So the village that we're going to is going to be part of the wilds. And even they look at Morgan as an outsider? Hmm. Tell me, is that what you want? What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, see it in your yes, mind. This is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. The seeing a place in your mind. Are you talking about daydreaming or do you have some sort of a premonition ability? I don't know. I don't know what witches can do and can't do. Even I get premonitions. I saw a dragon when I became a Grey Warden. Tell me about this village to the north. Tis a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. How do they identify a witch? Is it possible to identify a witch if they don't do weird voodoo magic? I guess not then, because they haven't been able to find evidence. Hmm, are you really Flemeth's daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? Okay, so you're not born from her womb. Uh, oh, I wanted to say earlier that the village sounds like it's still part of Ferelden, part of the kingdom, not like, um, free for all in the wilds. She's just going to stay here alone? Mother was alone long before I came, and will be so long after I am dead. Such oh. is her choice, though I suspect she would claim the choice was made for her. Your mother's immortal? I want to know more about your mother. Okay, your mother... She knows a lot. She got the treaties, because she knew that we would need it. She saved us. She's letting us have her daughter. Hmm, how are we going to get past the Darkspawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. Ah, uh, so it is true. I don't sense any Darkspawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent Darkspawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. The Darkspawn are camped farther in the forest? They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! 
is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Treat it like a vacation, why not? Hey, thank you, Flemeth, you saved my dog too. Oh, You see anything? A piece of wood carved with curious symbols. Dirt still clings to it and it looks very old. I don't have space for this. You don't really know what it is, but it could be a weapon. Did I get it? Oh, they gave it to me even though I can't carry it. Maybe we can cheat this somehow. Piece of wood. Viridium. Wait, what? It's like a high level piece of wood? The damage is not bad. <laughs> it's a two-handed staff. Okay, well, hello Morgan. Hel uh, welcome, welcome to our party. Do I have to do your points? Probably, right? Would you like some armor? Morgan's robes? I got some Chasen robes earlier. I didn't sell it in anticipation of our future mage friends. Plus two magic or plus ten cold damage versus six defense. Hmm. I don't know which one's better actually, but you can have some rings. I'm sorry, I really need you to just free up some space for me. I don't even care what these do. <laughs> Uh, no. Amulet. Of course, you can have two weapon sets. Now, would you like... Would you be a good bow person? I don't have a bow person right now yet. Do I? Everyone's carrying swords. 6.6 6 damage. How's that? And then you're- you don't have boots or anything. I don't have another helmet for you. Hmm, the staff is two-handed. No shields. <laughs> Good thing we have that no helmet mod. Okay, that's- that's hideous. Oh, which one would you prefer? Mental resistance versus plus one willpower, plus ten. Oh, this one's better. And I don't have gloves for you. I could give you like a normal armor, but probably as a mage, those roby thingies are better for you. Yeah, enchanter's footing. Why not? Well, this one gives plus six defense though. That's probably good. What does this mean? Oh, approval, neutral. Party members' approval changes based on plot decisions or gifts. High approval provides combat bonuses and possible romance options, while low approval may lead a party member to desert you. Oh, wow. I think we did like one thing that Alistair liked. Okay. Yay, Troy will never leave me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have a, <laughs> we have a little bit of space. I think we should get to the next village ASAP so that we can just freaking go to the merchant first before anything else but you know what before anything else i realized i had a mistake on the tactics yeah i didn't realize for for wellens i did self health is less than 50 but for for alistair i did ally instead of self which is why he wasn't healing himself there you go oh fantastic morgan heals herself oh she has four she has four tactics thingies but yeah, this, um, I don't think this enemy with the lowest health thing is working out well. I really want you to all just attack the same person, really. Clustered. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe this is what I want? Enemy, oh. When, oh, I can even select my other party members like this. That's really cool. So I can be like, oh, if Alistair is dying, then run over and help him. Something like that. For now, let's try enemy clustered with at least two allies, then run over. But that's not clear though, like, attack what? Attack at the cluster, I guess? Ah, eh, yeah, I'll... Maybe, maybe micromanaging is the way. Micromanaging all the fights, I don't know. I don't know where we are. Deep in the wilds. Okay. The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? What do you need? 
I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. Never mind. What do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. He was like a father to you. I understand. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. There is no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. He had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Ironically enough, the king saved us by making us go to the beacon. No, I understand completely. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. I don't know. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Just my entire family, that's all. <sighs> Except for my brother. I don't know about my brother yet. But my entire family was murdered just recently. Oh. Oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. No, no. Really. I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. I didn't mean it in like a, hey, I have worse problems than you, okay? We don't weigh sadness like that. Just because I'm sad doesn't mean you can't be sad about other stuff. Maybe I'll go to High Ever with you when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Alistair approves. Ooh. Alright, coo. Coo. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Mm, could be nice. You could come with us, you know. Ha! Huh, I prefer to remain here. Considering what the world has done to me, I have already done more than it deserves. What has the world done to you? That is between the world and me. Your business is elsewhere. But you're more powerful than we are. It is not a matter of power. No one person in all of Thedas has enough power to stand against a blight. Were that the case, sending you two would be quite the jest. What is important is that you are both Grey Wardens. Your task is to unite the land, inspire its men, and turn them from their petty politics to face the Archdemon. In that, you are more powerful than I by far. I am but an old woman whom the world has largely forgotten. She seems quite hung up on our status as Grey Wardens, despite us being new recruits. There's a junior Grey Warden, and I, I've been a Grey Warden for less than 12 hours. But yet, the fact that we are Grey Wardens seems very important to her. Could you answer some more questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> I'm just trying to, you know, get the feeling for everything. Knowledge is power, something, something. Can I ask about your magic? What good would it do you? You are no mage. It is sufficient that I have passed on my knowledge to Morrigan, and I pass her on to you. Like a worn dress, or an old pair of shoes. Are you still here? Mm. You cannot <laughs> give them away, apparently. How long have you lived in the wilds? Since before I was wrinkled and old. <laughs> you may think it strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes, men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. I bet we can find some codex entries on what Flemeth was all about, because she seems to be famous. You don't seem happy about that. I am not. Nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. 
But enough. You have your task to complete. Oh, I have a feeling this lady is someone really, really important. Masquerading as a random old woman in the wilds. We just don't know how in what capacity yet, but maybe she has to do with the origins of the Darkspawn or something crazy like that. What do you do once we're gone? Huh. Have a moment's peace for once. <laughs> I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. <laughs> this is the thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. <laughs> Do you have any advice? About the dark spawn? About everything. Yeah, <laughs> about anything, really. Then hear this. I laugh at a world full of stupid humans who ignore the Blight's evil and abandon their vigilance to chase mortal goals. Remember, it is up to you to destroy the Blight. Pray not for someone else to destroy it. It will always nip at your heels. Okay, what she said just now about how uh, mortals are abandoning their vigilance what did she say? In chase of mortal stuff? Because we know that she knows, she seems to know a lot about what's going on, but she's not sharing. That seems to say that whatever Arl Howe and the Terran are doing are not Darkspawn related. What they're doing is taking advantage of the Darkspawn stuff to gain power, money, yada yada yada, for their own goals. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Can we really not stay for dinner? That would be lovely. Maybe I'll come back here. Oh, I can't. Well, I guess that, that chest, that iron dagger is gone. Oh, well, I guess. Okay, we need to get to the village ASAP. Let's see. What do we... The Blight. The Arl of Redcliffe. We gotta go to Redcliffe. A paragon of her kind. Gain Orizmer's aid in battling the Blight. Oh, Orizamur is the name of a dwarven city. Nature of the beast. We gotta go to the Dalish, Dalish clans? Elves. And then Broken Circle. Gather the mages of the circle for your army. All these places. And then of course, when we go to Redcliffe, we gotta give the box to Jedha, Rigby's wife. What is this? Some DLC stuff, I guess. Forget about it for now? Okay. That was a long conversation. Let's keep walking. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Oh! 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 <gasps> a map! Overworld map! Ferelden. The coastlands. North to free marches. There's... Brazilian Forest, Dragon's Peak. We are in... Korkari Wilds. Uncharted Territories. The Hinterland. Frostback Mountains. We can go to Lothering from here. Amaranthine Ocean. You have just opened the world map. It details major locations of interest around the Kingdom of Ferelden. You can use the world map to travel to various locations, although some are not available until you meet certain criteria. Oh no 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 no! Ah ah ah! So let's... let's go. Lothering, a small town just off the Imperial Highway at the edge of the Hinterlands. Whoa, blood trail. Denerim? Oh! And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly! There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. Regent. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Mmm. People suspect. 
Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Bannorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. So he's the regent now. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Anora. Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? Logan used to be a farmer and he climbed all the way up. He might be... Politically pretty ambitious. Thirsting for power. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like them others. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> you should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still gotta pay. Now, not to say that refugees should be paying. Hmm, you're toll collectors then? Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? You're fixing the highway? I think not. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, <laughs> see? Do shut up. Even a general could have understood that. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. I don't have that kind of coin. Ah, and if I don't believe you, how do we solve this predicament? Do I want to intimidate them as a Grey Warden, or do I just want to kill you? I kind of just want to kill you. A part of me really does. But we shouldn't be doing more infighting here with the dark spawn around. But you guys are... You guys are making... <sighs> Stop collecting this stupid tax, okay? Like, refugees are wanting to leave and all that. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. Oh! But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. I see, I see. Okay, that looks very bad for Loghain then, because he's put a bounty on us. The moment he sees us, we're done. He's gonna try to kill us. <laughs> you know, the Grey Wardens could use a donation. You don't say. They is really good, boss. Remember? Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. <laughs> I've changed... <laughs> oh, I really... A part of me really wants to just kill them. I'll let you go today. An excellent donation. Thank you. Uh, then take it. Uh, do enjoy your stay in Lothering and all that. Part of me really wanted to... <laughs> but if they... I was thinking if I kill them and they drop stuff, I wouldn't be able to take it anyway. Oh my... <gasps> it shall be done. Knight's Locket. Knight's Note. This golden locket bears within it a tiny painting of a pretty brown-haired young woman. It is impossible to tell who the woman might be, but whoever owned the locket was quite fond of her. A crumpled note by Sir Henrik, a knight of Redcliffe.
So many of my fellow knights have been searching for the urn. Surely one of them must have found Brother Genitivi by now. Still, until I hear that all is well, I must proceed as planned. Brother Genitivi holds the key to finding the urn of the sacred ashes. We always knew this, but I believe I now know where Brother Genitivi lies. I have been to his home in Denerum and found the trail, and I am amazed that other knights have not done likewise. Unless they have? No. It is best to not get caught up in thoughts of conspiracy. Sir Donal awaits my report in Lothering. I must go to him immediately and report what I have learned. Should anyone find these ramblings, all I ask is that he be informed of my fate. I pray that he complete what I cannot. Sir Donal, inside Lothering. How did you die? The highwayman killed you? Eh, this guy's probably gonna make us go seek out this brother, get a TV guy. Hmm. So you're a Grey Warden. Dangerous for you to be out in the open, no? Oh, uh, back, are you? Well, I thought we settled things nice and amicably with you Wardens. Oh, yeah, they should leave. I want some questions answered. About what? We're just, you know, greeting travelers. Actually, it's more refugees here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fine. Life's hard all over. Nothing of concern to you Grey Wardens. You said something about Grey Wardens killing the King. Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. I'm surprised- Okay, that's the story that Terran Logan has been telling people. But some people don't buy it. Some people in Denarim are like, Yo, you, 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 you're certainly getting a good end of the deal here by pulling out. Why would Logan say that he pulled out? Why wouldn't he just say, Oh, I know we fought bravely, but we lost in the end, and I, I just managed to retreat in time. Oh no, that's- I mean, that's exactly what they said. Okay, fine. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know, but it's it's time for you and your men to leave. Well, uh, we don't want trouble, so yes, we'll do that. Thank you for sparing us. But you said these refugee types was easy pickings. <laughs> there are better pastures elsewhere, you fool. Uh, time to go. Get out of here. Quest completed. Did we have a quest for... I have no clue. Bandits on the road, they fled. You doubt they'll cause any more trouble for Lothering for a while. But they'll cause trouble elsewhere. All I did was move them, As really. You say, 